Good kitten internet. I've made it back up with the save. Let's get back to Raypoint Flam. Which I have no idea what direction I need to go. I'm just going to make a guess and say this way. 50-50 shot and I blew it. That's fine. Oh. She looks so much cooler walking around. Alright, this looks a little more dangerous. Hmm. Oops, I got hit. How much damage does that do anyway? Holy crap. Oh, wait, no, those were... They were injured before. Okay, that does 100 points of damage, okay. There we go. Right, that opened up, but what's over here? I see. Booga. Thank you for yet another crest graph. Don't exactly need more at this point. Kind of want a random battle so I can heal up a little. This area looks rather... Oh, I can just heal up from these. And it looks like... Yeah, there's no actual reason for them otherwise, so... I'm pretty badly injured. And now I'm fully healed, because if I remember right, each of one of those is 25% of my maximum hit points. Okay. I guess this is a Lilka dungeon. We should probably be using Lilka everywhere. I'm just guessing I need to make those... No, I don't. Lucky card. Yeah, like the thing I should have used earlier. It's only 100 damage. It's not that bad. Okay, let's undo that one. Do that one. Done! Any more items in here? No. You can't tell, I really don't care how much damage I take. Battle! Ooh, three of those. Nice. Let's see. Let's get... Marivel. Yep. That'll work. And mini carrot. Tongue. That's what I have right now, because I'm burping up beans from chili. I had chili dogs for dinner tonight. Alright. Um, defend, submerge, and doesn't matter. Die. Um, let's see. Again, I can buy them now, so I don't really care if I use those. Hmm, I see. Oh, no wonder I'm not getting those random counters. I unequipped two of the, um, things. Boots, uh, why am I blanking on the name? Elven boots, there we go. Elven boots. Off the boots. You're 
We're just gonna upgrade you to a holy tablet. Win first. So, you know, I need money, apparently. Efreet? That doesn't look like an Efreet at all. Ooh, I'm redlining. My apologies. Oh no, hopefully that doesn't mean that the previous video is bad. Uh, I must have knocked the gain around. Well, I'll just try to keep quieter. Um, let's see, if we... If we... Yes, that is the one that has the ability that I want. Drain. Firestorm! Didn't do much. But you gave me cremation. Now I will bury you. But not cremate you because you're probably strong against fire. I didn't bother looking. I'm just gonna submerge you. You know, in case Fit lives. Funk. But I gained cremation. Blue blazer. I'm going to assume. Oh yeah, I forgot to equip the other things on her. Oh, the moon pin looks cool though. Slight healing. It's fine. I'm being quiet. I need to stop being quiet. Okay. I'm apparently... Oh, no, I don't need to take damage. I've got rad blades. Pulbo Calbo. Pulbo Calbo? Pulbo Calbo. 279 attack. That's almost as high as most of the rest of my party. What the heck, game? But I'm going really far underground, aren't I? I didn't need Marvel equipped with the talisman. Oh well. Before I forget, I'm going to re-equip her with the... I'm it. Defend. Submerge. Defend. Drown, suckers! Look who leveled up. Cool! Right. Are you kidding me? Seriously, the camera angle is the reason why it didn't work. Damn it, Wild Arms. Just because something doesn't exist visibly doesn't mean it no longer exists. You should have object permeance.
Hey, Luca, younger daughter. Who's that peeking into my heart? I'm the will of power, the spirit of phlegm. Lilka, if you want to liberate the rape point I control, show me your powers. Uh, my sorcery? Power of magic? Says the level 44 character who could one-shot some bosses in the game. You! Understand that it is those with supreme sorcery that will be able to liberate the waypoint. Ray point. If... If my sorcery is not fully developed, then the release of the way Raypoint is... Understand that it would be impossible. Yeah, just impossible. Furthermore, if you fail once, the Raypoint cannot be liberated for all of eternity. So, you're screwed. Wait, wait! You're saying I can not I can make no mistakes? What's wrong? Why are you hesitating? Can't do this. I know I'm going to blow it again. I'm not as good at this like my sister. It's so possible. Magic is the power to do anything. It's the power to be like my big sister who I adore. But I always believe that, but it's not true. My crest sorcery can't do everything. Are you apprehensive? Sister? Is that you? Where are you? Why do you belittle yourself? You're you. You don't have to magic so you can be some. Uh, you don't have magic so you can be someone else, right? I wish this was one of the things that the fan artist Dengoku drew. Like, Lilka looking up at a bright object, I think that would be a beautiful drawing. That's not true. The person everyone wants to have here is you, my older sister. That's why I've always tried to fill in for you by going all out. And You aren't my replacement. I mean, come on. There are things only you can do. Things that only I can do. He never gave up. Don't you remember? I had the Millennium Puzzle. Didn't you stay to the finish? You didn't give up like I did. It's because you were by my side. And I wasn't able to do anything. I remember. I almost gave up. I wasn't able to do anything with my magic. Don't forget, Loka. Your magic could be used by anyone. And can do anything. Your magic isn't grass sorcery. Try to remember the special spell I taught you. Hocus Pocus Fizzipocus! Exactly. Repels fire and restores laughter. I'm sure you can use it. Will I be able to do it? There's someone I like. Someone I want to protect. I want to see their laughter. You can do it. There's one thing you need to be careful about, okay? One thing? What is it, sis? Promise me one more thing. Don't cry anymore. Come on. Laugh, Loka. See, I have a problem with the sequence. Many problems with the sequence. Lilka's sister is alive, in theory. That's why she was hearing her voice. She's stuck in the Millennium Puzzle permanently, as far as anything in the lore can tell, because I'm pretty certain this is the last bit that she's ever mentioned in the game. Um, That's still sad. And just because somebody tells you to stop being sad, stop crying, and laugh some, doesn't mean that you can just saying. Also, Loka has an unhealthy obsession with Ashley, who is in a committed relationship at this point. Keep in mind, Ashley has admitted that he is in love with... Wow, oh, I just had her name stuck in my head. 
I was about to say Maryville. No, that's definitely not right. But Ashley's admitted that he's in love with her. Not Loka. Well, yes, it's important that Loka protects somebody, but that doesn't mean that it should be Ashley, and that's what's being implied in here. That's a reason why, um... Why can I not picture her name? Holy crap! The Baker's daughter. Marina, there we go. Um, that's why Marina is so heavily featured in Die for Our Ship style of fan fictions. Uh, in Japan. This is a way more popular game in Japan than the US. Makes me wonder if the translation's the majority of the reason why it's not very good. Well, that and the interference from Sony. Sure, I'm okay. I'm fine. It's like, bam, apparently she's perfectly fine now. That's right, that's your magic. Hey everyone, I'm so sorry. I lost my confidence. It's not like me at all. But I'm all right now. I'm gonna liberate the ray point. My sister made me realize something I can do, something only I can do. And that's my magic. I'm not a crest sorceress. I knew that, but forgot somewhere along the way. Says the crest sorceress who has almost every single crest sorcery spell. Also, I just noticed everybody blinks at the exact same frame. Other than Loka, who's no longer blinking. I forgot that magic could be used by anyone and can do almost anything. Even when I stumble and make mistakes, my magic doesn't surrender. I'm not afraid to fail. I'll even liberate the waypoint. I love Filgaia. I love everyone. Everyone, especially the one I'm creepily staring at. Don't turn away from me. Bonk. I'll show you my magic. Fugai's life energy, Flam's mana, has been liberated and is quietly filling up. Flam's mana will awaken future possibilities asleep in Loka. Oh boy. So for those of you that have watched my Wild Arms 1 series, I had mentioned that dual cast can do lots of things and discovered that it couldn't in Wild Arms 1. This is the game that it can. Loka has the ability to dual cast now. Dual cast is a force skill for Lilka. The magic will be concentrated and activate two Crest Sorcery commands consecutively. In addition, some things can be stacked together. I will show off that at some point. Let's go to a different spot. Um... Silver Land Castle is where I'm teleporting. We're going to Ray Point Muse, which is flying in the air and being dumb. Similar to the Heimdall Gazo, where I have a really hard time finding it, so I made sure I looked up ahead of time. It is due west of Silver Land Castle. There it is. This actually looks more like what it should have been for Loka, because it's all wind-based. I know that Tim's the one that has wind associated with it, but do you remember a different place up in the sky that was very wind-associated? I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be the same place. That didn't work. Air Ballet! Air ballet. How do we do this? The answer is with Puka. 
Mist Cloak! The Mist Cloak is for use by Tim. Press the square button to transform your body into mist and travel a set distance by air. It allows you to jump over damaged floors and pits and go through walls of netting. So we're leaving now. That's what it looks like, by the way. Nah, we're actually going to finish the dungeon first. It, it'll be fine. Then we'll go to the Odd Headquarters along with a few other spots that we have to go to. Damn it. Pfft. The problem with this ability is that it's really hard to figure out where you're going to land. It only moves, like, one square. Really me. Three dimensions are not my friend. So why I prefer 2D games, but this is not a 2D game, not even close. <sighs> and all the upscaling and internal graphics rendering increases that I do in the world cannot account for stupid gaps in the middle of things that I don't realize is going on. All right. We even injured anymore? No. Ooh, loot. Another crest. Yeah, we didn't write the previous one that we picked up. Not that it matters. Ooh. The one wrapped in a mist cloak, guided by the wind. Won't lead one far. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be a poem in Japanese, and it just doesn't translate. Makes it sound something that should be poetic, and it's not. All right. Oops. Really? Depth perception. My nemesis. Really? Okay. Finally. The one faces the wind asks by the way of wind, then the wind flow will answer. What? The one facing the wind asks by way of wind, then the wind flow will answer. What? Is there a way to rotate that thing? Yes, okay. How many times will I fall this time? Let's find out! At least... Nope. About to say, at least I'm going to actually make it this time, but no. Shellwind. Yes, that fall was intentional. That's not the way I want to go. I want to go south. The other south. That's not the way I wanted to go either. 
Oh, actually, apparently it is. Never mind. What do you have? Fate Staff. 311 attack. Dang! He's beefy. <sighs> Have I mentioned that I don't like this dungeon? Because I don't like this dungeon. I mean, part of it's because of my lack of patience. I've already looted that treasure chest. It's just rotating, isn't it? Yes. I haven't even encountered an enemy yet. I don't want to. I want to protect everyone. Don't get in my way. Wing Knight, and this time I'm going to actually remember to use the freaking. Mm. All right. Do you do anything special? It's the exact same ability. Cool. Same strategies. It is. Weird them actually using Ashley. Before I forget this time, you said it, kitty. Oh, wait. I need to equip the correct things. That would be Earthring? Ooh, I only have one Earthring. Yeah, it'll be fine. Pipe. Oh, helps if I actually equip the dang thing. Mm. Lucky card. Hype weapon. Punch in the shield. Mirror coat. They're really just pallet swaps of each other. That did zero. Uh, what is this thing's def weakness anyway? Thought it was Earth. Oh, right. Shield doesn't actually have the weakness. I'm going to give you a little bit more defense. Get some more hype. Tone Candy, what are you doing, kitty cat? Just standing directly in front of the camera. Ooh, a melee attack. It did zero. Uh, I mean, you can sit there. Why are you rubbing up against the camera, cat? <laughs> and turning the camera. I mean, you're a very pretty kitty, don't get me wrong, but... Kitty cat? <laughs> you do not know how to behave on camera, do you? A really boring battle. He's actually standing still now. There's the pretty kitty. Nice shots, too. Shield's not down yet, but it's time to start gatting. 
Oh, actually, you need 99, I forgot. I should really do the uh, FP minus on Cannon. I think she's the one that needs it the most. Final Hype Weapon, I think. Should be Final Hype Weapon. Uh, nothing happened, yeah. That means Ashley's attack is about the highest it could possibly be. Which means it's time to start hyping up Cannon. That doesn't do anything, does it? <coughs> no shields! Spiral Typhoon! Ow. That actually hurt pretty hard. Notice, I cannot change his equipment. I should have switched him for the Earth Ring right before moving over. Uh, we are going to swap Loka and Tim. Actually, wait a second. Was Loka at. Loka's at 100 FP? I can get off a dual cast. I'm going to show you what it looks like. I mean, I'm probably going to die if I do this. Uh, so. Dual cast. Saber, saber. Ashley punch in the face. Catic rewriter. Oh, it's reflecting. That's even worse. Oh, this is going to be terrible. Yep. Forgot. Reflect. Yeah. So, yeah. Saber and Saber is the only one I remember off the top of my head, but if I remember right, it's level 1 and level 2 of the same spell, attack spell, does something special. It gives you the level 3 versions of things. So that's actually a reason to keep up the level 1 spells. Alright. Cannon. Honestly, let's just go with Eagle Claws. Tim, first aid. Ashley, punch to the vase. Uh-oh. That could be bad. Nope. It's fine. Mad Lucid. Might be able to see it. Might also die first. Did not. That's Mad Lucid. It's not a very impressive looking attack, but it does a lot of damage. And 40, Ashley 29, Marvel 29, yeah. Nice. Spring and Wing Knight has been defeated. Yes, there's a save point there. And yes, I did copy the items around. Tim has leveled up five times. Okay. Um, come here. Oh, wait, no. I remembered this time. I actually remembered. Boots. That's a neat effect. This is the only place in the entire game that's used. There's actual combat here. My phone is making a lot of noises. Why are you making so many noises, phone? One of those is an email for sure. I cut this thing. Oops. YouTube video I was watching earlier. Uh. Okay. I can ignore those. Put my phone on my new fancy charger. What do we have here? Briaros and a Giga Cloud. Oh, 
Giga Cloud does nothing useful for me. Weak against Earth. Priaros is the one that has the correct ability, and I can pickpocket tiny flowers. Sweet. It's annoying. Give me your ability. Okay, I got that at least. Okay, um, that means let's swap Tim back in. Marivel, go ahead and use a mini carrot on Tim. By the way, there are a limited number of full carrots in this game. <laughs> you just ripped wind. Sorry. Um, there are a limited number of full carrots in the game. The... I think there might be more than what I have now. Yeah, there's definitely more than one in the game. I think it's three or four, I want to say. Maybe five? But that's it. Once you use those, you never get another one in the game. So I'm not using them. <laughs> not for a long time. Um, please just let me pickpocket already. So I'm going to kill you all. Earth. That is... That one! Oh, that's right, it's a group attack. Well, I'll kill the Giga Cloud first, then. Really? Cloud, go away. Air Slash is actually the ability I'm trying to get. A softener. Or, the ability I got. Herp Derp, I already did this. <sighs> I got the tiny flower. Good. Zone, how did you get lost? I have no idea where I'm going, by the way. I'm not even bothering to look up on a guide or anything like that. Dang it. I know there's one of those that I have to do it that way. I thought this is one. Can I hit it from this angle? I can, okay. So annoying, the set of abilities in my mind. Sunpiece. So it's like, yes, this is a Tim dungeon. You're going to be using Tim tools. But, like, Luca's was almost exclusively two tools. Tim's is using pretty much exclusively two tools, but everywhere. Ugh. Well, that seems difficult. Fun piece. While I'm here, is there anything that I need to know item wise to pick up? Nope, I've already picked up all the items that I'm going to be picking up. Cool! Do that. Defend. First aid. Mystic mini carrot, because there's no reason to use a mini carrot when Lulka's around. You might as well mystic it. 
Does it cost loca? Unless if you're using it on loca, I mean. Graviton. Defend. Death did. Yeah, I'm trying to get all of those kills up on Tim, and I think you're doing a good job. Let's see, where are we at on that, anyway? Oh, yeah. We only have 21 more left for Lucky Hammer and 48 on Lucky Word. By the way, Lucky Word's a practically useless ability. I don't think it even does anything. All right, we've got those two. We need these two now. Another exit on that side, okay. Oh, it's another one of these. Alright, first, what's over here? Oh, it's another windmill. Okay, where am I trying to get to? This is the one that I need to spin it twice, okay. See how I need to get up somehow? Okay. Can't do anything about that. But I can do that. Or no, I cannot. There. Now I can fall. So, what are you doing, cat? He's just, in crazy cat hour, went down to the basement and started crying. What is with my cats? This is the one that I need to pop across the top of that thing and constantly fall. Really don't like this dungeon. How many times will I fall for this one? Let's find out. There. And what I want to know is why do they even have the windmill thing out here? It doesn't do anything in this case. Ooh, what are you? A Typhon. Not Typhoon, Typhon. You have the thing I care about. Okay. Why do you even exist? I've got nothing. Like, I don't know why you would bother rotating those. It doesn't do anything. Like, yes, you change what direction you're blowing the wind. Cool, that's over open air, and then the last one is the wrong direction. I don't understand. I already have gotten the item even, so there's nothing more to do there. It's... Just a red herring, apparently. It's actually full on hit points yet. No, but if I hit like one or two more of those, he will be. Let's put Marinville back in the party. There we go. Now Ashley's full. Okay.
Okay. I mean, I can flatten these, but that's not going to help. I am so confused with my cats. Oh wait, yes, this will actually help. I see how it will help. Because... There's a little bit there. So dumb. There we go, all four of the pieces that I wasn't even told yet that I needed. Save me from this dungeon. <laughs> I know, that's just me being impatient. That's a Gorbash. Gorbash. I go Gorbash. Uh, it divides into owlbears. And it's weak against air. It's actually resistant to earth this time. Cool. And it doesn't have anything I care to pickpocket. Sonic Claw. It's almost enough damage to kill it in one shot. That is enough damage. It has 3,000 hit points. Ah, so let's see. What's been going on? I have pierced the sea of wind on the journey to the stars, passing displays of colored order. Sea, wind, stars. What? I've pierced the sea of wind on the journey to the stars, passing displays of colored order. Is it just rainbow? That doesn't even make sense. Sea of Wind. Cloud. Journey to the stars. So another star here. I don't know these two, though. I'm going to go Moon Sun, I guess. I'm guessing on this part. I'm inverting in case if it's the other order. It's the other order. <sighs> Don't like. Oh, Puka, come out, come back in. I'm going to finally get more to drink. Tim. The boy who to be sacrificed who doesn't know the answer. Are you calling me? Who are you? 
I am the will of power. The spirit of Ving. If you wish to liberate the ray point I control, you must reveal the reason to fight. Your reason to fight. Mm -hmm. The reason to fight? You! Know that only when you find the reason to fight within your heart will the ray point be liberated. If I don't find the reason to fight, then... Understand that it would be impossible. Furthermore, if you cannot find the reason to fight, the ray point won't be liberated for eternity. Because we're all dicks. An answer I've always been searching for. Whoa, those lines are messed up. Um, uh, yeah, nope, nope, that's the way it looks to me. I wonder if what that is. Gaia asked me the same thing at the sacrificial altar. The reason why I fight. Fate. No one can escape the wheel of fate. You're wrong. I could never risk my life for something like that. It's because you don't want to die. Because you're afraid of death. Oh, in the beginning that was true, but that's no longer it. When I thought of someone beside... I thought of my... Uh, someone beside myself, I came into my powers. Who is it? It's... That's right. I wanted to protect you. And all those horizontal lines that are driving me up the wall. In order to protect you, I decided to work really hard. Then, Tim, there's only one road for you to choose. Please, just drop dead. If Tim dies, the Filgaia will be saved. Not just me, but everyone will be saved. Then it's decided. I am the pillar. I have the power to protect what is important. It's easy. Just go on and die. That's not true. And the lines have disappeared. Good. Puka. I've thought about it too. But that that's destiny that you were handed. But the answer Tim to find... Timmed, Tim would find, is a different answer if you looked. I'll think about it too. Find it yourself. That'll be your real answer. I want to protect the people who are important to me. That part's true, and in order to do that, I'm willing to risk my life. So then, what's stopping you? I can't protect the people I want to protect that way. That's what I think. Let's say I die and say Phil Gunna, but... If something happens again later, it's Colette who will be the sacrificial pillar. To not be able to do anything when a person close to you is facing life-threatening danger, I won't do it. That's it. That's right. The reason why I risk my life to battle is not to save the world. That's not the only reason. It's also to create a future where no one else has to be sacrificed. Remember the central guiding theme of what a hero is in Wild Arms 2. A hero is someone to be sacrificed in the name of society. Tim wants to make a future where he there are no more heroes. Insert. No more heroes entrance here. To save the ones I care about, I need to prove that the world can be saved without a sacrificial pillar. I won't die. I'm going to protect... I'm going to live and still protect this world. That's the reason why I fight. Ooh, good work on figuring that one out. Otherwise, eh, oh, you've thought about it and found the answer. It's important to do that. It's all because Puka was here by my side. But is this really okay? Puka's orders from Gaia were to turn me into the pillar, right? That's right, but I don't regret it. Uh, Puka? I came up with it all on my own. Notice the difference? Notice the fact that Puka's not referring to Puka in the third person anymore? And I guided you to a future other than the one that you were dealt. Pukas are meant to have no will of themselves. To act only according to orders. What are you saying? What is it, Puka? I can assume other forms because I don't have a self. But I, with you, I was able to think and act on my own. Leading you to a different future wasn't anyone else's idea, but my own. I, I think I found myself. 
Uh, by discovering myself, I'm no longer Puka. So, okay, bye. I don't like that Puka. It was fun. Finally. Finally, I found a reason to fight, but then I lose what's most important to me. Did you lose something? Puka! How, how are you still alive? Oh, I sure got a bad reputation. When did I die? Uh, but that. But you just. Uh, it's true that finding myself, the old Puka no longer exists. That was a step in transforming into the new Puka! Puka? What the hell? Once, in the Sea of Light, I, Puka, turned back into light. By gaining insight into myself, my powers are greater because I can perceive other beings more clearly. It's like, there's a whole world of people that aren't me. Pukai's life energy, Wings Mana, has been liberated and is quietly filling up. Wings Mana will awaken possibilities for the future sleep in Tim. High Combo acquired. High Combo is a force skill for Tim. By increasing synchronicity, uh, synchronicity with between Pook and the medium, the Guardian can attack best. From now on, I'm going to use a stronger medium. Wah! I'm getting hugged. I miss hugs. I don't care what it is. I did it. I did it. Ah, uh, it was actually when I was reborn into the Sea of Light that I first heard it. I'll never forget that voice that taught Puka about Puka. I'm glad I tried this. From now on, we'll always be together. That's right. You'll never get rid of me, even when you want to and want to be alone with Cosette. Colette. Oh, that's an NPC of mine. Anyway. We are at an hour. But... I want to go to the Odd Headquarters. Teleport. Odd. So we've got two places that I want to go specifically. Oops. Not. Odd. Ood. Ood Headquarters. So now we have the two abilities required to actually do things down here. Okay. to do this side first. Fine. Or not. Oh, I know what I need to do. Mm -hmm. Missed cloak. Go back up through here. Missed cloak. I have to do all of this without falling. You've seen how I'm at with missed cloak. Bloop. All of that for that treasure chest. That one right there. You know what it gives me? A teddy bear. I actually don't remember what the teddy bear does. <laughs> 
stops luck from dropping at an inn. That's what it was. Not actually all that useful, in my mind. Yep, uh, that's for later. So at this point, we could do a bunch of different things. But there's one more space that I want to go to. And I know I'm right at about two hours, but that's, or one hour, but that's fine. Just going to finish this up. It's not that far away. Right here. At the gate bridge, where there's a mesh that's been here the entire freaking game. Blastem. Blastem's a bayonet cartridge used by Ashley. You attack the enemy by shooting shock waves, which scatter over a large area. Blastem. All right. That concludes today's episode of Wild Arms 2. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, that means that this one's episode 38. I don't know if I'm going to finish this before the end of the year. Talk to you next time, Internet. Bye!